Well, finally tonight, Jared, not many can say they have a school bus just sitting in their yard with no intended use, but one Highland Park, Kansas couple did, and they set out to create the perfect mobile coffee corner. Our own Steph Manchin takes us inside the coffee bus and shares this couple's journey to success. Braden and Cheyenne Grossman started brewing up their drink specials just two months ago. But theirs is a different kind of coffee shop, a school bus, that they used once and then needed to repurpose. I'd always wanted a food truck. She's kind of always wanted a food truck. Mm -hmm. So we turned it into a coffee shop. It took yep. about a month to do the whole renovation. and They added flooring, plumbing, and power. And once they lowered the windows, the orders started rolling in. We've been asked to every event we've attended. We have mm -hmm. never asked to attend an event. Yep, which is so, fun. That's cool. Unfortunately, we have to turn some down because lots of them were the same day or times and stuff like that, too. Right now, the duo is solely taking their shop on the road to events like Flea and Farmer's Markets. But their neighbors have started to ask when they will be open every day so that they can walk over for their morning cup of joe from the coffee bus. It's really good, though, that everybody's wanting that. and. They're asking for constant things like they want to buy our t-shirts, which we haven't sold yet, but we plan on. And so it's great that they want to support us in that way, wearing our shirts around and getting our logo and name out. Local connoisseurs may recognize their blend as the bus is brewing up McCaska coffee beans. People love McCaska. They'll come up and ask what beans we have. And if we, I think honestly, if we didn't have McCaska, some of them would walk away. For now, those looking to try the coffee bus out for size will have to travel to Kansas as the wheels on the bus are not traveling across state lines. Steph Mansion, News Press Now.